Hi and welcome to the sixth section of this course, Tracking User Actions. In the previous section you saw how to share content in your website. In this section you'll learn how to create many-to-many -many relationships with an intermediary model and build Ajax views. You'll also see how to create an activity stream application and add generic relations to models. Further, we'll optimize query sets for related objects and use signals for denormalizing counts. In the end we'll see how to store item views in Redis. Now we'll see the first video of section 6, building a follower system. In this video we'll see how to build a follower system into our project which will help the users to follow each other and track what other users share on the platform. Let's get started. The relationship between users is a many-to-many -many relationship. A user can follow multiple users and can be followed back by multiple users. We'll begin by creating many-to-many -many relationships with an intermediary model. In previous sections you created many-to-many -many relationships by adding a many-to-many -many field to one of the related models and letting Django create the database table for the relationship. This is suitable for most of the cases, but sometimes you might need to create an intermediate model for the relation. Creating an intermediary model is necessary when you want to store additional information for the relationship. For example, a date when the relation was created or a field that describes the type of the relationship. We'll create an intermediary model for building relationships between users. There are two reasons why we want to use an intermediate model. We're using the user model provided by Django and we want to avoid altering it. We want to store the time when the relation is created. Now edit the models.py file of your account application and add these lines of code to it. This is the contact model we'll use for user relationships. It contains the fields such as user from. It's a foreign key for the user that creates the relationship. User to. It's a foreign key for the user being followed. Created. It's a date time field field with auto now underscore add equals true to store the time when the relationship was created. A database index is automatically created on foreign key fields. We use db index is equal to true to create a database index for the created field. This will improve query performance when ordering query sets by this field. Using the ORM, we could create a relationship for user, user1, following another user, user2, as shown. The related managers, rel from set and rel to set, will return a query set for the contact model. In order to access the end side of the relationship from the user model, it would be desirable that the user contained a many-to-many -many field as shown. In this example, we tell Django to use our custom intermediary model for the relationship by adding through equals contact to the many-to-many -many field. This is a many-to-many -many relationship from the user model to itself. We refer to self in the many-to-many -many field field to create a relationship to the same model. When you need additional fields in a many-to-many -many relationship, create a custom model with a foreign key for each side of the relationship. Add a many-to-many -many field in one of the related models and indicate Django to use your intermediary model by including it in the through parameter. If the user model was part of our application, we could add the previous field to the model. However, we cannot alter the user class directly because it belongs to the django.contrib.auth application. We're going to take a slightly different approach by adding this field dynamically to the user model. Now edit the models.py file of the account application and add these lines of code. In this code, we use the addToClass method of Django models to monkey patch the user model. Be aware that using addToClass is not the recommended way for adding fields to models. However, we take advantage from using it in this case because of the reasons which are we can simplify the way we retrieve related objects using the Django ORM with user.followers.all and user.following.all. We use the intermediary contact model and avoid complex queries that would involve additional database joins, as it would have been if we had defined the relationship in our custom profile model. The table for this many-to-many -many relationship will be created using the contact model. Thus, the many-to-many -many field added dynamically will not imply any database changes for the Django user model. We avoid creating a custom user model, keeping all the advantages of Django's built-in user. Keep in mind that in most cases it's preferable to add the fields to the profile model we created before, instead of monkey patching the user model. Django also allows you to use custom user models. If you want to use your custom user model, take a look at the documentation at this link.
you can see that the relationship includes symmetrical is equal to false. When you define a many-to-many -many field to the model itself, Django forces the relationship to be symmetrical. In this case, we are setting symmetrical is equal to false to define a non-symmetric relation. This is, if I follow you, it doesn't mean you automatically follow me. When you use an intermediate model for many-to-many -many relationships, some of the related manager's methods are disabled, such as add, create, or remove. You need to create or delete instances of the intermediate model instead. Run this command in your command prompt to generate the initial migrations for the account application. You'll see the output is shown. The contact has been migrated. Now, run this command to sync the application with the database. You should see an output that includes these lines. The contact model is now synced to the database and we're able to create relationships between users. However, our site doesn't offer a way to browse through users or see a particular user profile yet. Let's build, list and detail views for the user model. Awesome! So, in this video we saw how to create many-to-many -many relationships with an intermediary model for building a follower system.